In this tutorial, we will be solving the length of a tuple challenge, which is TypeScript type challenge number 18. And along the way, we will look at concepts that you could use to solve this problem yourself. So let's go. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to create a generic function called length that takes an input type t, which must be a tuple. And if a tuple is provided, it should return the length of that tuple. For example, if we provide it a number like the number 5, it should complain. And right now it's not complaining, which is why TS expect error is highlighted. And similarly, if you try to provide a string, it should also complain. And right now again, it is not complaining, which is why TS expect error is highlighted. And if we do provide a valid tuple, for example, type of Tesla, then length should return the length of Tesla, which is four, because it has four members. And right now it's complaining because our length function does not conform to this requirement. Now we can rule out the invalid inputs and focus in on the valid inputs if you could figure out what the valid types should be. The valid inputs are type of Tesla and type of SpaceX and if we hover over these variables, you can see that both of them are read-only tuple types. This is the type that is being inferred by the usage of the as const operator which tries to narrow down the object to the as strict type as possible and in this particular case, it is narrowing it down to read-only tuples containing string literals. Now, if we think about the Tesla and SpaceX variables, a type that can accept both of these would be something like a read-only string array. So we constrain the type T to make sure it conforms to read-only string array. And now we do get an error if we try to pass in the number five, and we do get an error if we try to pass in a string, and TS expect error is no longer complaining. Now the next errors that we have to fix are the expectations where length type of Tesla should return four and length type of SpaceX should return five. Now we have the input T being passed into the type generic function and we know that T will conform to string array and a string array has a member that gives us its length property and we can access that using another feature of TypeScript called lookup types. So we look up the member length from type T and return that type as the response for length of input t. And with these changes in place, all of our tests pass. Length of type of Tesla gives us four. Length of type of SpaceX gives us five. And length of five errors. And length of hello world also errors. Thank you for watching. Smash that like and subscribe to learn more modern TypeScript and development tips and tricks. And I will see you in the next one.